Hello there, I am John Crow with more Pokemon Diamond video. In the last part, we got here to, um, Route 201 again, and we're gonna go after, um, uh, Miss Brit, uh, being of emotion, uh, at Lake Verity, in Lake Verity Cavern, and, um, we also, uh, you know, we got, we caught Yuxi, and it only took us one take compared to Azul's five takes a couple of parts ago. So it only took us one take to capture, um, Yuxi. We got real lucky with the Dusk Ball, so that's good. Let's put a repel on. Yeah, and I'm gonna show you guys where the TM uh, TM25 I think TM not to TM25 I forget what number it is, but it's a TM for um, Fire Blast. Let's see the number. Uh, my phone went off too. If you hear that ding, it's TM38 Fire Blast. Okay, so I know um, Inferno already learned it, but I'm curious to see if anyone else can learn it because I was always wondering that because that's actually a good question. So who else can learn it? I don't on my team. I go can learn it. Um, do I want to teach Drago though? I don't think I'm gonna teach to Drago honestly. Um, so no. Yeah, I'll just skip out on it. I guess. I mean, it's okay. But yeah, let's go into the cavern next, where uh, Miss Brit is. Which is in the middle of the lake right here too. So if we talk to Miss Brit, don't worry about saving because this is a Roman legendary. Yeah, get a picture of Miss Brit right here. Quan, and she just goes. She teleports somewhere else. She flew off somewhere. Yeah, Miss Brit flew off somewhere. Interesting. Oh, and he was Professor Rowan. I don't know how he got here. Do you have to swim? I don't think he has any water type Pokemon with him. Yeah, Stephen, that was Misprit, wasn't it? You accomplished what I asked you to do at the Canwave Library. I asked you to get the data on Pokemon of the Lake, and you did. But it didn't. But it didn't provide any answers about the mysteries of um, evolution. I still don't know why some Pokemon evolve and others don't. Ultimately, it only, it only depends. It's only deepened the mystery. But having mysteries to solve that adds to my enjoyment. Steven, why don't you chase after Miss Brit? To, to me, it seems like as if it wanted to play with you. If you were to use the Poké Shop market map, you'd be able to track the movement of that Pokemon. Of Pokemon. Come on, Steven. I'm sure that you will keep meeting countless Pokemon and people. The, the, those encounters will keep thrilling you in their own special ways. I hope you'll enjoy the, that experience. Take care, Steven. Okay, thanks, Professor Owen. So yeah, he's right. Let me get out of the cabin first, though. If you go to your pocket shop, the market map, then um, the trick is with like these Roman legendaries. Um, that's the bear searcher actually map. There's one else. There's a uh, something else. There we go. Here's the market map. So um, I think if you start moving around, um, Miss Brit. Well, yeah, Miss Brit. Miss Brit's the blinking dot that looks like a little cat face or something like that. So um, when it changes routes, it will. So like you can only you can't fly to where it is because then it'll switch. But every time you switch routes, you can use a bicycle. Um, it'll switch routes. So um, whenever you match up with its route, or happen to be on the same route, just have a Pokemon under level 50, 49 or under, so it can so you can use repels and uh, run into the Pokemon, which I'll demonstrate how to do. So let me go to Jewel by City because that's like where I've always caught this thing because it has like four different ways it could go. So I like always go into the south of uh, Jewel by City is where I usually find it. So just keep your market map, keep an eye on the market map. It seems like it's um, well if we go to the route, it's um east of Jewel by City, but don't go there yet because when you switch routes, it will of course, as I said before. So um, you just want to make sure you have a repel up and uh, you can just keep on going on your bicycle. See, it switches route when I switch routes. So like when it matches up with my uh, location, then um, you'll know you found it. So th this might take a while. There's a repel going off, but only spray the repel when you it's really when it's on the same route as you, because then you don't want to waste your repels that way. Uh, then you don't waste your repels by just spraying new repels and trying to go from other places. You know, it's really it's really teasing me right here. It's really close to me this past couple times, but now it's still you know it keeps on moving spots. But just keep on being patient, and you'll eventually match up with it. And if you're using the master ball on it, that's really good because then you don't have to deal with like having do you have mean look or something like that or arena trap i guess from a duck trio but that's not till i get the, the game when you get the national decks so like i'm only planning to use my master ball on this thing so 
I just have to run into it and just use my mash ball. That's really convenient. And also, quick balls work really good if you just want it, cause like it'll it'll um free after one turn, so you can try your luck with a quick ball. And I've seen people catch it in quick balls before, which is really cool. But uh, for me, I'm just using my master ball, and it wants it um matches my location. This may take a while though, see as it's just flopping over the place and that's close to me again. It's really close to me and hopefully it'll go the same road as me. Nope, okay not yet. So you have to kind of be patient with it. I mean, it's not always going to be on the route you want, which kind of stinks. You just have to be patient with it. As I said that so many times before. So it's going the routes closer to me, but eventually it'll go on the route that I'm on because this has been done before. So, yeah. Uh, it's maybe. I can't believe it hasn't gone in my area yet. Come on. Okay, there it is. Now it's in my area. Okay, so what you want to quickly do and safe and carefully do is you want to, um, Go, put a spare repel on first, and then um, just um, try to find it. So if I can search around in here, somewhere in here. There it is, nice. And when you hear this music, you'll know it's Misfit because it's legendary Pokemon music. So yeah, here's Misfit level 50. Go Rose. So again, I'm not gonna attack it. I'm just using my Master Ball on it. Cause I want to choose my master ball on this thing. That's a Roman legendary. I usually use my master ball on Roman legendaries, especially for walk the guides. I'm not always trying to catch all the Pokemon that are legendary. So yeah, there we go. We caught Misprit. He was out of the Pokedex. Awesome. Okay, number 147, Misprit, emotion Pokemon, pure psychic type. It, it, its height is one foot, just like Azelf and Yuxi, and it weighs 0 0.7 pounds, just like Azelf and Yuxi. Known as the being of emotion, it's taught it taught humans the nobility of sorrow, pain, and joy. It's pretty cool. I'm um, giving a nickname to Misprit. Yes. Um. Let's name it. Let's name it Pink because it's pink. I don't know why. But let's just name it Pink. Pink. Okay. Cool. Pink was transfer the uh, box around the beeps we see. Okay, so now I can switch back to my actual cool app where I show all my Pokemon and its HP bars. I really like that app actually. So here we are. And yeah. Um, after that we can just go. Uh, let's go to um. Let's go to Pastoria City, I guess, and check out its summary. on the Pokemon Center. I don't I don't need a heal actually because my Pokemon team hasn't taken any damage. So that's good. Let's go to Beeps PC, move Pokemon, and yeah here's Misper right here. Summary. Okay so it's Prisaki type. Uh, gentle Nature, Metal Route 202, level 50, like Spirit of Food. Uh, sturdy Body, like Spirit of Food. Uh, its ability is levitate just like Azelf and Yuxi, which means it can't be affected by ground type moves. Yada yada yada, you've heard this before. And its attack is 123, its defense is 112, special attack is 125, special defense is 127, speed is 95. No confusion, lucky chant, future sight, and charm. That's pretty cool. So there's that. So uh, we're gonna make our way to um, the road to Shining Shore City, the route before Shining Shore City, I should say. And then we're gonna end the part, so yeah, let me just make our way. Let me hop on my bicycle to go a bit faster. Try and change gear so I can go even faster, you know? Oh man, I'm gonna have to watch out for these four patches of grass here. Good, I didn't. Well, I think my repel is still lingering, so it still might be in effect right now. Yeah, I repel off right there, cool. And if, um, on your way to Sunny Shore City, if you do need to help your Pokemon, you can always talk to this guy right here at the desk and help your Pokemon. I, however, don't need to do that, so I'm going to head off to, uh, route, I think this is still route 213, right? Maybe it's a different route that's going to be on. Route 222, okay. So, yeah. 
So um, here we are on Route 222. I'm gonna end the part right here, so this is uh, gonna be a very short part, obviously. So in the next part of my Pokemon Diamond Redo Walk the Guide part, we're gonna take on Route 2022 and hopefully get to Central City and maybe cover a bit there too, stuff there too. So if you enjoy, go again. I would love to see you again. Goodbye, and I'll see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Diamond Redo Walk the Guide. The next part of my Pokemon Diamond Redo Walk the Guide.